Okay, hot off the press. I've just uh, seen that the Fox ESS EP11 high voltage battery storage pricing has been released and is now available on a number of online stores. Let's have a look at one of them. So those familiar with Powerland, it's the new brand for battery factory. Um, same company behind the scenes, just re had a rebrand uh, this year to Powerland. Uh, they're also a sponsor and recommended supplier uh, for the group and we have a group discount uh, on that post that's pinned at the top of the featured area of the group so uh, have a look at uh, that post and check out Powerland and our other uh, suppliers if you're looking to purchase or extend your battery storage. Uh, pricing's been a bit hush-hush on the EP11. The EP5 has been around for a number of months now we've seen a few of those installations being posted on the group really nice looking unit now we've got a unit that's twice the size uh, but still that sort of slim wall mountable unit and the pricing is coming in at £2,099 exclusive of that obviously by the time you add the VAT onto that it's £2,518.80 in the UK at the time of recording this in June of 2024 if you have a complete installation, I uh, believe that it's uh, there's no VAT, it's VAT exempt uh, at the moment. So if you've got a complete installation, solar, inverter and battery, your installer won't be charging you VAT, which is great. So you're looking at a little over £2,000 per module. Just like with the EP5, you can scale these four battery units together using a parallel joiner box, which is an additional... 150-ish pounds and that box allows one uh, well two or more batteries to connect in parallel so two and a half thousand pounds for 10.36 uh, kilowatt hours that's an interesting uh, number um, if we have a look at another competitor online you can see that they're charging closer to 2700 pounds which so powerland have got a good entry price plus um, hopefully they'll honor the discount for the group so you save a few pounds uh, off your order uh, being part of the group things that are important because they're parallel wired it's about the peak throughput that you can achieve with these batteries so if we look at the EP11 data sheet and scroll down this isn't designed to be a in-depth review of the EP11 more just things to consider so if they've got an operating voltage of 384 volts and a recommended uh, charge discharge current of 27 amps with some peak charge and discharge ratings but we'll use the the max 27 as an example punch that into an online calculator dc battery 27 amps 384 volts means that you can get uh, little over 10 kilowatts of concurrent power out of the, uh, this battery and unlike the other batteries that aren't parallel cabled they're serial cabled the more batteries you add so if you added two three or four it's still the same voltage because they're wired in parallel so if you've got an inverter that is larger than a than 10 kilowatts you will be battery limited uh, once you run out of the sort of burst amperage um, single phase is not really a problem. The largest single phase units uh, that you see in the UK are the K series 10.5 kilowatts. So you're only losing a, a few hundred watts off the theoretical maximum. But it's a really interesting product. Um, and, and we've all been waiting for what the pricing looks like. So it's finally here. Two and a half thousand pounds inclusive of VAT. A 10.36 kilowatt hours. Uh, comment, like to hear your thoughts. Thank you.